South Korean politicians are accused of using BTS in an attempt to divert public attention. Suga shares a funny memory, V announced a date for a solo album release, RM betrayed Suga, a subway incident witness gets targeted by extreme BTS fans, and V's friend Park Sai Jun responds to his attitude controversy. On August 8, Song Il Jung, a prominent figure from South Korea's People Power Party, suggested that BTS should perform at the troubled 25th World Scout Jamboree, which has faced challenges such as extreme temperature and inadequate preparations. The World Scout Jamboree is an international scouting event that gathers scouts from around the world for cultural exchanges, friendship and adventure, typically held every four years. Song Il Jung inquired with Korea's Ministry of Defense about the possibility of having BTS, including those members currently in military service, to entertain the Jamboree attendees. He hinted at the People Power Party sentiment that it would be beneficial if BTS members in the military could perform. He previously expressed on social media his hope that the Ministry of Defense will consider allowing BTS to enhance the country's image at the Jamboree. Responding to this, a representative of the ministry mentioned the need to converse with both the military department involved and the artist management company HYBE. The 25th World Scout Jamboree has unfortunately gained a negative reputation internationally. The gathering, which hosted 43,000 scouts from 158 nations, faced a severe heat wave leading to the evacuation of numerous participants. Adding to the event's challenges, there has been significant backlash regarding the apparent poor planning for the Jamboree. This lack of foresight has also ignited concerns about potential misuse of public funds meant for the event's organization. In light of these events, the public, particularly Korean online users, criticized the ruling party of what appeared to be an attempt to use BTS's popularity to salvage the situation. They accused officials of trying to leverage BTS to divert attention from the Jamboree's issues. Several online comments reflected this sentiment. One user on Twitter expressed hope that the buzz about BTS being approached for a performance following the problematic Jamboree event was not accurate. They urged global BTS fans to unite against such a proposal. Another online user pointed out the potential repercussions of misusing BTS's influence, warning of alienating the vast BTS fanbase around the world. They emphasized the power of the fandom by referring to an earlier event in Busan. Suga shares a funny memory. On a recent episode of Suchita, Suga welcomed idol turned actor Huang Minghyun as a special guest. The two discussed their early days in the industry, including training, debuts, and joining their respective entertainment companies. Huang Minghyun recounts an amusing incident when he was caught on the streets during his ninth grade year. He described the situation as a bit dubious, a sentiment Suga agreed with, saying it would have appeared unsettling. As they discussed street casting, Suga first mentioned he hadn't experienced it, only to later recall an amusing memory from his past. While he was training at Big Hit Music, he was approached by someone in a black van on his way to school. They offered him a chance to join an entertainment company, not realizing he was already with Big Hit Music. When Suga clarified his association with Big Hit Music, the individuals from the van, who happened to be managers from the same company, recognized their oversight. Suga went on to clarify that the oversight happened because the company's recruitment team, responsible for scouting talents, didn't always recognize all the trainees they had on board. V announced a date for a solo album release. As some BTS members take a break due to some starting their mandatory military service, the others are using the time to explore solo careers. This has resulted in a string of triumphant solo projects, as the latest to join this spree is BTS's V, who has recently announced his debut solo album. This forthcoming solo project is titled Layover. This album will feature six tracks, namely Rainy Days, Blue, Love Me Again, Slow Dancing, For Us, and an additional unnamed bonus song. Enthusiasts of V and BTS can look forward to the album's release on September the 8th. This record label has hinted at the album's musical style, suggesting a dominant R&B influence along with traces of pop, the genre for which BTS is renowned. The creative direction of Layover has been steered by Hee Jin Min, CEO of Adore, a part of the K-pop giant Hybe. Min had a pivotal role in the project, supervising everything from music production to choreography and design aspects. How are Ram betrayed Suga? 
Aram and Suga share a strong bond, having known each other for nearly 13 years since their initial meetup in 2010. However, in a recent episode of Suga's interview show, Suchwita, Suga expressed his astonishment regarding Aram's tidiness. During the episode, Minhyun joined as a guest and inquired about who the tidiest BTS member was. Suga recounted that when the band lived together, Aram was notably untidy, often leaving Suga to remind him to tidy up. Min Hyun then pointed out that Aram's current apartment is immaculate. Suga expresses surprise, noting the drastic change in Aram's habits since moving out of their shared space. He mentioned how Aram's new home was in stark contrast to his previous habits, being meticulously organized. Suga even joked, mentioning feeling betrayed by the sudden transformation, given his past efforts to encourage Aram to be neater. Fans found this revelation amusing. They recalled that it wasn't the first time Suga had highlighted the disparity between Aram's past and present cleaning habits. A subway incident witness gets targeted by extreme BTS fans. On August 6, 2023, a disturbance erupted on Line 9 of the Seoul subway, sending passengers into a state of panic. Many began to hastily exit the train, resulting in some injuries. Subsequently, investigations revealed that it was a false alarm. The country, particularly Seoul, has been on edge lately. After gathering accounts from witnesses and resulting with law enforcement, Korean news outlets discerned that initial alarms were raised over a possible gas leakage and an unidentified scream in a train carriage. The situation became murkier when some pointed out that the scream might have come from BTS fans who were aboard the subway after attending a concert. Coincidentally, BTS and Suga had just revealed this tattoo during a live stream around the same time, leading some to draw conclusions. A social media user mentioned that the foreigner watching a video had screamed, which resulted in the chaos. The user advised others to remain vigilant and prioritize their safety. While some extreme BTS fans refuted the idea that their fellow fans were the cause of the panic and cited an SBS news report on a potential gas leak, another report from the same outlet confirmed that the disturbance was partly attributed to fans reacting to a BTS video. SBS News clarified that the fire department found no traces of gas at the scene. The police acknowledged that the chaos stemmed partly from reactions to a BTS video. The controversy escalated when the extreme BTS fans targeted the netizen, accusing them of disseminating false information. Many South Koreans have since condemned this group of fans, accusing them of cyberbullying the witness. This friend Park Sa Jun responds to his attitude controversy. On August 7, Park Sa Jun candidly addressed his fans via his official fan cafe regarding recent events. To provide context, on August 5th, during a Concrete Utopia event in Busan, a female attendee had unexpectedly approached and hugged Park Sa Jun. Security swiftly intervened. Another incident at a different event involved a headband offered to Park Sa Jun by Park Bo Young which he declined. A fan leader clarified online that the headband was initially intended for Pak Sai Chun but was given to Pak Bo Young due to proximity. He said he was aware that some fans might have been hurt or affected by the recent controversy. He expressed his surprise and concern about the situation, noting that he initially felt taken aback when he first learned about it. He reflected on reading fan letters, feeling contented before realizing the controversy had erupted. He chose to share his thoughts in the fan cafe, believing it to be a safe space free from misinterpretations. Detailing a particular incident, Park Sai Jun mentioned an unexpected encounter during a stage greeting. An individual seemingly intoxicated had approached and embraced him unexpectedly. While surprised, he tried to handle the situation gracefully, considering the broader audience. He mentioned that his security team felt he should have intervened, but he told them it was alright. Addressing another topic, Park Sai Jun clarified his choice to style his hair up during the event, explaining it was purely because of his wedding and the strong hair products used which made his cop sensitive. Addressing misunderstandings about the headband incident involving Pak Po Young, he explained he had initially thought the headband was a gift to her. He emphasized there's no tension between him and Pak Po Young and spoke about their joint commitment to work. He concluded by expressing gratitude to his fans, encouraging them not to be troubled by the recent events.